Nation, welcome to the Does a Bear Digest for Saturday, June 19th, 2021. On June 17th, the majority opposition asserted the Trudeau government breached parliamentary privileges by failing to provide secret documents to the House that would explain the firing of two scientists from Canada's top infectious disease lab in Winnipeg. By extension, Speaker of the House Anthony Rota has found the Trudeau government in contempt of Parliament. There's far too much nuance and detail to unpack on this for a two-minute digest, so if you're hoping for that, you'll have to catch the next Colbert Report on Canada Day. Instead, I'm going to talk about the first and only other time this happened. On March 21, 2011, a majority opposition found Harper's minority government in contempt of Parliament. This resulted in a motion of no confidence being introduced, voted on, and won by the majority opposition forcing an election. During the campaign, the government claimed the opposition was wasting time, engaging in mischief and cheap political theatrics rather than focusing on the crisis at hand or making constructive proposals for it. Harper got his only majority in that election, and the opposition parties that put forward the motion were devastated. In fact, both leaders of those parties lost their seats in that election. What's that old expression about those failing to learn the lessons of history? again? Huh. <laughs> On this day in 1816, the Battle of Seven Oaks occurred between the Northwest Company, now known as Giant Tiger, and the Hudson's Bay Company near Winnipeg, Manitoba. And you think Black Friday is bad? On this day in 1865, Juneteenth began when slaves in Galveston, Texas finally learned they were emancipated more than two years earlier. Talk about not getting copied on the memo. It's also Juggling Day and Garfield the Cat Day. Now there's a mashup I'd pay to see. And that's today's Does a Bear Digest. See you tomorrow! Oh.